Uh, I I don't think so. Well, I mean, don't talk about the parts that we can't talk about, obviously, on YouTube. But you know, talk about it. Well, let's just get more on focused here. I mean, what we're doing is puzzles. Seems to be an old map of what is France these days. There's a legend on the panel next to it. The king huh. was in dire straits. He had withdrawn to Provence, and the options he had left did not bode well. The peasants were rising to the north, and the reinforcements from the kingdom of Navarre, who had just crossed the border, were forced to go up against a massive fortress to the east. Meanwhile, his opponent sat back and eagerly watched the spectacle unfold from his country estate in Brittany. So Brittany's up here. There's the county of Bourbon. There's Provence. Bourbon. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. Also, Nina reads French. Well, they do seem rather bilingual. If you think about it, well, I mean, seeing as that, seeing as there's somebody that originally was Russian but was raised in Germany. Yep. It fits. It almost looks like the stone came from this mosaic in the first place. I wonder whether there are any stones that fit in the remaining empty fields. Well, we need to get the other stones. And that's the... Jeez, this it's guy... halfway stable where it is. And I don't want that to change. Where exactly did he get that piece of plank wood? It's a pew. So he, he lifted up a pew from a This church? altar was made from a single massive slab of stone. That's why it remained more or less unscathed throughout the centuries. Hey, homeless man, I have questions for you. Uh, I don't know. think he's homeless. Hello. There's nope. something else I think you might be able to help me with. No problem. What is it? Those eyes. I found a mosaic in there, but a few of the stones are missing. I found a light blue stone up here in the altar chamber that matches the mosaic perfectly. I suspect there might be more stones like it. Maybe the same strange shade of blue. Do you have any idea where I might find stones like this? No, not really. Well, I guess that would have been too easy. Stop. Wait. I just thought of something. Many buildings around here were destroyed Why during World the War II. Why did the chaplain have yes? his All secret entrance from the derelict buildings that were still halfway usable were used for rebuilding, including those from this church? Rebuilding what? Well... First, there is a little bridge not far from here. Then, the old metro station. And the jail, I think. Great. In that case... Oh, yes. And the zoo. That's a lot of buildings. Any idea where I should look first? They were all built pretty much at the same time. But at least you needn't try the zoo right now, because it is still closed. Okay, I'll save it for later, then. Can you tell me how to get to these places? I've got this tourist info map that I can give you. Wait, let me mark the relevant sites. That's little elephants and everything. I'll go hunting for the missing blue stones. Oh my, it looks just like I the one from Lost Horizon. I think I'll start with the bridge. It's supposed to be close to here. To be fair, Lost Horizon came out right after this one. What an interesting phenomenon. Also, A when we hovered over him, he is that stops man. right in the middle of the bridge. The oh. idle street cleaner may be slightly less well, that's impressive. that's what we think. But at least he's in harmony with the overall picture. Unfortunately, there's not a stone in sight that could fit into the mosaic. Maybe it's on the other, dirty side of the bridge. Uh-huh. Hello. Hi. You're a street cleaner, right? No. I am a molecular biologist collecting samples for scientific <laughs> research. Oh, I really thought you were... What kind of research? Of course I am a street cleaner. Oh, a comedian. <laughs> I never knew street cleaners were so witty. Not that I've met all that many. 
The only time I've ever seen the streets swept completely clean was during a World Cup final. Touché. Surely while sweeping you would have noticed if a blue stone had been built into this bridge, right? Yes, indeed. If I had actually cleaned this bridge before. Haven't you? No, I'm just helping out. And there is no blue stone on this side of the bridge. I'm sure I would have noticed it after sweeping here for four hours. Yes, you certainly would. You haven't done a very good job. Why are you still sweeping this side of the bridge? It's spotless, but the other side is completely filthy. Have you looked over to the other side? Yes. Why? It is raining. Such things are known to happen. Indeed. So, I am waiting for it to stop. You mean you're not sweeping the other side of the bridge because it's raining? No. Logical. That would be silly. I thought so. I am not sweeping there because I would get wet. Oh, and you think that's less silly? Would you jump into a cesspit? No, but... You see, so why should I volunteer to get soaked? Especially when there are alternatives. Which are? I can continue to sweep here. But it, it's clean here. But not surgically clean. What will you do if it starts to rain on this side, too? Then I will be out of luck and get wet. And then what? Then I will sweep the other side of the bridge. After all, I will already be wet in that case. And they tell me female logic is hard to understand. That, what? Why are you so scared it's of just, water? I'm not. What? I'm just not keen on getting wet. Not it's as long as I can dog avoid it. Tactic. So it's not some childhood trauma? Not that I know of. It's a professional hazard. Getting wet? Rain. You know, swing your broom, clouds will loom. To think that I keep getting accused of having a penchant for puns and bad poetry. Yeah, more or less he's just doing Unless the very I classic... Unless I intend to go uh, for the wet look, I should make sure I'm not standing close to this puddle when there's a car coming. Yeah, he's being lazy. Mm-hmm. This, this is classic... Um... A heap of dirt, garbage, and rotting leaves. The uh, so no French act? I gave up complaining yeah, no about having to rummage through garbage a long time ago. Money. Mine for the picking. And a pacifier. <laughs> mm-hmm. A racy Italian sports car. It's got a pretty horse on its hood. And a not-so-pretty scratch. The clock so has stopped. Ooh, Just a regular see. storm drain. I can't stick my hand in there. The gaps are too narrow. And for well, I think we're going to get a lollipop. Yep. Mm, a very good morning to you. Buongiorno, signorina. Allow me to introduce myself. Alessandro Rossi. Nina Kalinkov. Pleased to meet you. What is a good-looking Italian you. doing at an intersection in Paris? I am waiting for the bus. Oh, don't you have a car? Yes, of course. It is over there. Oh, the red That's very sports expensive car? to try. Yes. Are you impressed? Well, yes, a little. So why are you waiting for the bus? I am supposed to meet some friends here in their van. They don't know their way around Paris, so we want to go on together from here. The signs here are rather misleading, so most people take a wrong turn at this point. Why don't you come with us? There is always room in a my sports car. Oh, yes. Why not? Oh, no, wait. I'm afraid I can't. <laughs> there are some important God dang, things I must Nina. see to. You're just it's too bad. But I will be here for a few more minutes in case you change your mind. Just let me know. You would miss out on a oh lot. Oh my! He is really just a charmer, isn't he? He's just uh, laying on that schmooze. There's an ugly scratch on your car. Mamma mia! Why did you have to remind me? Mamma I mia! Know. It is not. I am Italian, don't you Sorry, know? I I didn't realize. 
I have been thinking of nothing else all morning. He is a very stereotypical Italian. I wanted to impress my friends, so I rented this sports car. You mean it doesn't belong to you? No, but the scratch is all mine. I had only just picked up the car when disaster struck. Take it easy. It's not that bad. After all, it's just a scratch. Amazing how fast a proud and attractive man can melt into a puddle of misery. So it turns out he's actually not wealthy. He just rented a sports car. Wow. But he has a stereotypical accent of Italians, and he goes, Mamma mia, that's my spaghetti. That's a spicy a meatball. It's a me, a Mario. This question is somewhat strange, Mario. but I don't suppose you've noticed a blue stone that was used for rebuilding any of the buildings around here? You are right. That question does sound strange. However, even if there were a blue stone around here somewhere, I probably wouldn't have noticed. I was afraid of that. I've got to go. Too bad. The car is secured by an alarm. I'm sure it will go off at the slightest touch. And since I'm the only one around here, I might actually get suspected. Hmm. Well. Uh. Wow. I don't think they know what Paris looks like. Yeah, because is it just me or is it looking a little bit like... Post-apocalyptic um, Paris. That or uh, Paris is god post apocalypse. Like teddy bears. Shit. This one looks awfully mean and grumpy, and it smells like a polecat. Like, what part of Paris are we in? We're in the uh, South Apocalypse, Paris. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If we have any Paris um, viewers, no can anyone tell us what the self part looks like? The ceiling is painted. Impossible to see whether it contains one of the blue stones or not. The paint is peeling, anyway. Maybe I'll be able to somehow remove it completely. I can't reach it. Maybe it's we do a, a running long jump? time since anything was sold here. The sign says, Help Wanted. I'll take this sign with me. If this game doesn't sell, then at least I will know where to look for a new job. <coughs> oh, I love it. They got super <laughs> metagamey. Yes. I love when they do something like that. If the game doesn't sell, I at least know where to look for a new <laughs> I don't really want to know just how old this Bill, I think we're is. going to be getting some amazing... At least you're supposed to insert Euro cents. Sure, mm -hmm. money makes the world go round and nothing comes free, even if it only takes ten cents to buy. Chris, we should point out, though, I think at the end of the first game, though, is one of the, um, I, I think it was like one of the Irish developers ended up, or not, or Irish um, people ended up working for the company or something at the end. That was the joke. I mean, Nia also just made reference to the fact that She's going to work here in the Apocalypse Paris. The switch for the fountain is also in this switch box. I think I will switch on the fountain. <coughs> mm, nothing happened. Not altogether surprising, since there's no water in the fountain. I had better switch that fountain off. Wait, so did she just turn it on, run back, and, and turn it, it off? Because there's no water to make it work. The clock has stopped. It oh, is, we're looking at Yeah, it is 8.15. The clock... Maybe we're just more in one of the more run-down parts of Paris. I mean, there are run down parts of Paris, but they don't look like to the it's clock that hangs on the outside wall of the metro station. And this place would be crowded station. with like a dozen people setting up camps and stuff. 
I will try to get this clock up and running again. Hmm, the mechanism appears to be out of order. I bet it will stop again in a moment. Uh, I think there are still some other areas we haven't explored yet, though. Yep. Let's see, bubblegum machine. Great plan. I place it on the minute hand and wind up the clock. As the hand moves, it will slide off at some point, hit the car, and trigger the alarm. The only problem is this thing isn't heavy enough. An ingenious plan. I place it on the only problem is this would really damage the car. Great plan. The only problem <laughs> teddy is bear. this thing. So we need something teddy bear. less damaging than the umbrella, but heavier than the teddy bear. The pacifier? With a coin? Hmm. I don't know. Thank I'm you, Ma. I'm gonna check something real quick. Let's see. Did we. Like, there might be some items in some of the other areas we could use. There we go. That's... There we go. I know what we need to do. Let's ignore the zoo right now. Let's go to the cemetery. Mm-hmm. This giant compost home. heap. This giant compost heap has the candle we need. I was like, okay, what do we need? Let's check the all guide. All right, all right. Here I go again, rummaging through dirt. This just speeds things up a bit. So we're not... Okay, we got a stick. Yay. Okay. And a compass? Uh, and a candle. Oh. You know, the ultimate weapon, a candle. Well, Jack can't do shit against it. Eh? Eh? I... Huh? Jack can't get over the candlestick. Oh. Holy shit, Not wow. a bad idea. That's a, that's I place a the candle, candle on the minute hand and wind up the clock. As the hand moves, the candle will slide off at some point, hit the car, and trigger the alarm. I only need to make sure that I have an alibi for when it happens. I mean, your alibi is you were doing drugs in here with all the other homeless people. So why are we trying to set the car alarm off again? A devilish plan which may cost me a lot of sympathy. If this were a computer game, it would probably be banned for being too violent. Unfortunately, though, this is not a game, but bitter reality. I'm on a mission to save the world, and a different set of laws applies for world saviors. So, here I go. We're getting super meta all of a sudden. Yeah. It's weird. Oh, I get it. So Hello, she's gonna are you still waiting? Yes. I, I hope my friends did not get lost. What? But that is... <laughs> Who threw a candle at my, my car? car? Stop! Wait! You're going the wrong way! You need to turn here! Stop! Ah, no! I'm completely soaked now! That's what they call a chain reaction. It is a disaster. Like my entire life, a total disaster. 
Is it really so terrible that you missed your friends? Don't you think they'll find the right way anyway? Yes, maybe. But it is a matter of principle. I it's can't do anything right. It's Everything fine. keeps going wrong. Cheer up. There will be better days. I have been waiting in vain for years. Please excuse me. I need a few minutes to myself. I need to go cut myself. While oh listening to my, Lincoln Park. he's really down in the dumps. I should follow him and make sure he does nothing rash. After all, I'm responsible for his mood to some degree. No, no, Nina. It's not your fault. Just Phew. ignore him. I had been worried he might do something foolish. I was worried he was going to listen to Lincoln Park and jump in the River Thames. Now, we're in Paris and the River Thames is in London, but... I think he can make the jump on depression alone. Because it's a leap of logic, you hear. That, no. <laughs> bad. Bad. That was horrible. I'm, I'm a monster, Bill. My alignment My is My French evil. is a little rusty, but as far as I can tell... Oh. There's a report here about the sinking of the Calypso, the ship I was almost drowned on. Apparently they were able to rescue nearly all the passengers. What? Underneath is a huge advertisement by that televangelist Pat Shelton and his Puritas Cordis sect. Oh, so everybody... The hasty gathering of worldly so... leaders in New York proves only one so thing. So nearly everybody was rescued, Bill. neither the self-proclaimed heads of state uh, mm -hmm. so, so the people that weren't rescued were the doctor who was killed. For the, greatest the other woman and technically which us is now the almost upon us. Uh, priest. And how could they, for only a steadfast belief in the might of the Lord can guide us now he alone can be huh. the beacon to lead us forth so, from the valley of the shadow of death the guy we wanted to hundreds live, of lived. years ago the prophet zendona foresaw Yay. the cataclysm that is looming now this is what he predicted though the child the old also order lived. of the world shall be shattered eh, all hello. worldly possessions shall well birdie won't be pleased and from the ashes of our decadence <laughs> his shall dad's rise dead the new his kingdom dad's of dead God, anyway daddy no and therefore, <laughs> that's what we're talking about while Nina's doing backstory. And like, and this is how the world will end in fire and brimstone, and the death of the firstborn, and, open their eyes, and the assault of the secondborn, the and the molestation of, of the third. Cordis. What? Come now, before what? it is too late. I can't say I like that Pat Shelton and his Puritas Cordis crowd. In fact, I think they're a bunch of morons. The trouble is, I can't shake the feeling that there's methods. Yeah, they have madness, nuclear missiles. And that they have a definite plan. A plan to make Zandona's apocalyptic prophecies a reality. Yeah, they Which have nukes. Means they're still a bunch of morons, of course, but possibly a bunch of extremely dangerous morons. <laughs> With a guy case, named Biggs and a guy named Woods. must not be underestimated. So, that's the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Also, the sky is yellow. And there's a forest between us and the Eiffel Tower. Okay, are we just in Chernobyl or something then? <laughs> is this what's going on? No, no, also, look, there's a river here. I think that's the morning fog, though, but... No, that's a river, is... Bill. Like, what is yeah, this? There's a... Yeah, that's a river, but there's fog on top of it, though. I know, but it's... All... What is this? Where are we? I have no idea who this is supposed to be. Yeah, let's check out Rosie. Hey, Rosie. Hello, kill everything yourself. okay? I'm really worried about you. Oh, hello. Yes, it's really not my day today. First, I scratch up my car and then I miss my appointment. They're probably halfway to Spain by now. Oh. Oh, I'm afraid that I may be responsible for the missed appointment. Uh, well, is no, there anything Nina, I can do Nina, for you're you? you're not responsible. Anything that might cheer you up? They're just that stupid. That is very kind of you. But I've been chasing Lady Luck for years now. She is simply too fast for me. You cannot change fate. And that is that. The poor guy is totally dejected. Nina, you need to think of something quick, or you'll end up only being offered roles as a movie villain. <laughs> so Nina basically her entire thought process. If I go away now and promise to come back soon, will you promise not to do anything stupid while I'm gone? Sure, I wouldn't even have the energy. Wow, 
That is so jib. We found jib. We found Italian jib. Uh huh. I have no idea how I would be able to manipulate this statue in any way. <laughs> oh, quaint. <laughs> hmm, thanks. I don't need a bath right now. Oh, a tennis ball! We can play fetch with Rosie! We can make him feel loved like a puppy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's another guy. <laughs> yeah, but Bill, we can play fetch with Rosie! But there, there's another person on wow. the... Wow, that is some castle. I wonder who lives there. What castle is this? It's is it looks like Versailles, what, but Versailles is a giant garden behind it. Well, maybe we're looking on the back half. No, because that would mean we'd be looking at the giant. We'd be in the giant garden, Bill. That giant. I've been in the back of that garden. is huge. I've been to Paris. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the airship. Floating in the water. See, there's water. Where are yeah. we? This is not Paris. Oh, wait, did the bum move here? Oh my god, the bum is a teleporter. A few empties. I, and I a thought he was immortal. I'm supposed to steal from a homeless man? As long as yes. he can still use them, I will certainly not take them away from him. I use them to have sex. What? I stick them in my bum hole, and then I drink the liquor that way. Oh, okay, that, that, no, bad, bad. That, that, that means Hello that's not again. even monetizable. Dropping by my humble abode? You See, this is his house. Well, it's not exactly the Ritz, but at least it's quiet. I'm Unless a somebody creepy hangs old man, whining. and this cave is my what home. To the poor Take fellow. this rum, it's dangerous to do that go alone. Now that is truly a tragedy. And now journey across this dangerous land. You hold in your rectum. You a sure drink a lot. Yes, I know. I take it you have never lived on the streets. <laughs> no, not really. It's a simple what? decision. Solid food gives you a lot more energy, of course. But energy for what? Nobody expects me to have enough energy to build a house or fix my car. And I don't have a job either, so I don't really need any energy for anything. What I really need, on the other hand, is a way to forget all this misery, at least for a while. And I need something to keep me warm when the nights are cold. I understand. No, you don't. And I can't even blame you for that. It is really hard to comprehend if you have never been in a similar situation. Won't you at least try to escape this vicious circle? How would I do that? You could quit drinking, for one thing, and I could see about finding you something to eat. I tried that, but it seems people would rather feed pigeons than their own kind. I get it. The world is wicked and nobody loves you. Oh, if I get you something Jim. to eat, will you stop drinking? Then I could use my money to find myself a place to sleep. It's a deal. So this guy's Jib basically blaming everybody for that everything. That fountain that goes over the world. there? Let me guess. You tossed in some money in hopes that all your problems will solve themselves. No, why would I do that? Oh, just a thought. Because tourists used to do it all the time. They threw their money into the fountain? Yes. They say it possesses magic powers. <clears throat> they say the same thing about some high proof spirits. <laughs> yes, but believe me, there's no truth in that either. Well, you ought to know. So, why did people stop tossing in money? They probably stopped believing in miracles. You think I ought to stop hoping for a miracle, too? It's always worth a try. And if you have money to burn... I'll think of you, I promise. Thank you. You wouldn't happen to know what time the zoo opens, I suppose. Actually, it should open just around now. Great. Then I'll be headed there next. I'll be leaving then. What? This zoo is weird. Everything about this is weird. <laughs> mm hmm. I think we might just probably pull up a um, actual map of France after this. I mean, not or France, Paris. Paris. <laughs> Let's pull up a map oh, of know. France. You know, just to make sure everything's in place. Okay, now we're going to the country. zoo. 
the zoo. I wonder what kinds of fierce, exotic, and dangerous creatures I'm going to meet here. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing the animals too. Oh dear. I think she was referring to something else for animals. Yep. Zoo. Empty, squashed, and full of tiny holes. Looks like someone vented a lot of frustration on one poor little can. Nail polish. This statue is dedicated to the man who, after World War II, rebuilt the destroyed zoo, saving the lives of dozens of animals. Some prankster painted his toes red. The milk cans appear to belong to the zookeeper, and he would have to be blind and deaf if he weren't to notice if I took one. So we have to render him blind and deaf. I got it. Well, let's get a knife Hello. and cut out his eyes. Do you work here? Yes, I'm a zookeeper. Can I help you? What? You're not French. What? Is it true that this zoo was rebuilt after World War II, using leftover stones from other buildings? Yes, that's right. Why are you asking? I don't suppose you've noticed whether a blue stone was used in any of these enclosures? Mm, actually, yes. There should be a blue stone in the crocodile enclosure, if I'm not mistaken. I have no idea what building it came from originally. Thanks. You've been a great help. I've been wondering why you have a whole bag of baguettes by your side. I'm well, waiting I kill for people the with them. Why does everyone seem to be waiting for something around here? The bus, the ducks, Godot. Say what? Never mind. Why Godot. are you waiting that for the clever. ducks? Or, or rather, why aren't the ducks here yet? Usually they come to the lake by the crocodile enclosure every morning. They know that visitors to the zoo love to feed ducks, and therefore they're here the minute the zoo opens. Clever critters. Could I have one of those baguettes? Sure, as soon as the ducks are here. Can't I have it now? Why? The baguette is meant for feeding the ducks, and how would you feed them if there are no ducks? Have so we gotta attract some ducks. Thanks. Same to you. I like the fact that the guy's like, well, why do you want my baguette? I... You know, also, bread is bad for ducks. Uh -huh. Look at the crocodile! Oh. There's one of the blue stones I need to find. Guarded by a lovely crocodile. Which leaves me with the not-so-irrelevant question, how on earth shall I get to it? Okay, so we're going to need to make a sedative. And then get a blowgun. This magnificent specimen appears to be a Nile crocodile. It marks its territory through underwater vibrations and turns into a merciless killer whenever it detects a new nearby. A gene? Us. A new? What? Oh, there's an elephant. Hey, there's a tree. Judging from all the insects on this tree, one could almost assume this is intended to be a bark beetle exhibit. The nest appears to be abandoned. This seems to be a pretty small zoo, though. <laughs> only two exhibits. Well, we've only gone one way. It is a pretty a shitty zoo. male African elephant. Compared to an Asian elephant, its ears are much larger. Huh. Also, its forehead is receding and less convex. And its back is not rounded, but sloped. Very informative. It never ceases uh -huh. to amaze me how such a powerful animal can appear so peaceful, almost cuddly. It's a bit too heavy to pick up. <laughs> I think you're not trying, Nina. Nina, I think you're not trying. You could pick that up. Nina, you just need to believe in yourself. I don't Stop fancy you, a swim here. Too many crocodiles around. Oh, so apparently the ducks swim here, of all things? Well, why not? The crocodile's not gonna eat them. Wait, really? <laughs> why the fuck not? I don't think I can chase off the crocodile by... Well, what do you have there? A noisemaker. Oh. 
Well, maybe you can make a duck call out of it. Wait. I can throw the teddy bear in. Grumpy teddy bear versus crocodile. What a duel. Good luck, teddy. You'll need it. You're murdering a teddy bear. <laughs> wow. Just immediately. Now we'll go back to its um, resting point. Hey, there's a boat here. So, also see this fence? The crocodile can't get out. This little motorboat is tied up so well. Somebody really wanted to be on the safe side here. So what we do now is we turn on the boat. The crocodile seems to be mistaking the engine's vibrations for a rival. It is completely focused on defending its territory now. Well, I know what we do. Now I just need to get inside the enclosure. Mm -hmm. This must be one of the stones I am looking for. As an accomplished world savior, I know that because it is secured by a barbed wire fence and an ill-tempered crocodile. It would be just too easy otherwise. Okay. Yep. So what do we got to do to climb up there then? I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's <coughs> anything right there right now, so let's go over here. And we've oh, already probably done something that would have gotten us kicked out of the zoo. I cannot reach the tire. Oh, What's in here? Cute. Oh my, this path is in terrible condition. Uh, monkey, what do you got, oh. little guy? There we go. Everything's finally loaded in. A can of peanuts. This path is... Well, there's a monkey. Let's talk to the zookeeper. Zookeeper, you need your bread. Hello. Hello. That's such Have a your cute bread. monkey you've got in that enclosure. You can say that again. And so eager to learn. Eager to learn? Oh, yes. I'm in the process of teaching it a few tricks. Like fetch really? and murder the infidel. It's actually what? quite easy. As soon as I pick up the training stick, I've got the monkey's attention. And then it will mimic everything I do. Training stick? We have a stick. You hit that monkey? For heaven's sake, no. It's just a regular <laughs> long branch. All I do oh is hold God. it in my he hand, and the experience. monkey will react. You hit the monkey? No idea why, but it works. Have a nice day. Thanks. Same to you. <laughs> you hit it. the monkey. <laughs> I love it. So, let, let's wave the stick at the monkey. Chuck the monkey tonight. Well, let's see whether I'm cut out to be an animal trainer. Hey, it's working. Got an idea. By the way, we're gonna get that monkey to jump through the tire. <sighs> Maybe this way I can make the monkey jump through the hoop. Why are we trying to get the monkey to jump through the hoop again? Amazing. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> and now, 
I need to aim well. Come on, donk. <laughs> Wait, what is that? It's a ball, because the monkey has a ball in its cage, which it then hits the peanut can with, so we can get I a can of I always knew I'd make a great role model someday. Oh, <laughs> it's just a monkey throwing balls at cans, but it's not a bad start, even if I say so myself. You're a great role model to all the children of Germany, Nina. You tell them about how the Nazis are bad, and how to be a good person by not just abandoning the person that's suffering from depression and let them die and kill themselves. Despite the fact that... No. Just... Oh, let's get our tennis ball back. We may need it again. And same with that soda can. Jeez, our inventory is cluttered for once. Uh huh. So we did that all just to get peanuts. Uh huh. Which I guess we give to the elephant. Peanuts, supposedly. How odd that such a large animal is so crazy about tiny peanuts. <laughs> I don't know. Is that just a stereotype, or is there actually elephants that hey, like peanuts? Buddy, would you care for some peanuts? I forget. Look, she puts it in the... There. Yeah. You're going to have to work for the rest of the peanuts. And then just skewers Nina on its tusk. The elephant does all the work for peanuts and ends up oh, with none dear. while I just hang around. And I am rewarded with a way into the crocodile enclosure. Life can be so unfair. <laughs> Uh, so I just wanted to say this. I wanted to note this right now. I so, so just want to note this. Nina, right now, oh, I'm going to leave you yawning. Um, I, I kind of wish that the wall like collapsed and then the crocodile's like, and then it crawls out and it's like, oh god, I just did something bad. There's now an escaped crocodile. It's just wandering around, not really doing anything. Uh -huh. Good thing that stone was already loose. And now I'll get the heck out of here. Just pet the crocodile on its head, Nina. Hit with a Pokeball. Well, let's go to the bridge. Huh? Looks like the street cleaner knows how to work fast after all. The entire bridge is sparkling clean. Well, the van what? Mr. Rossi no. was waiting for took a wrong turn here, drove straight through the puddle, and completely soaked the street cleaner. So he no longer had a reason not to sweep the rainy side of the bridge. Life is quite simple once you actually understand it. And here's the stone I was after. The stone is lodged tightly in place. I can't remove it just like that. We need something to wedge it out of uh, umbrella, maybe? I might be able to use the point to scrape away the sand around it. And now use the umbrella as a lever. The stone is mine. Oh, Bill. What? Wait, what's that down on the... Oh. Oh god, we're we're making this duck noise calls. Maker seems to appeal to the ducks. So we gotta guide these ducks down to the zoo. The ducks are already here. So yeah, we basically got a duck collar then. So we have the summon duck spell. 
Sure, if you want to call it that item. I mean, that's what it is. It's the summon duck spell, Bill. You summon duck. So we'll bring the ducks where the gator is, and then the gator will eat the ducks. And once the gator's full, then we... Oh, wait, we already got the stone. No, we need the bread. <laughs> Here they come. Come on, land in where the gators are. Land where the gators are. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to see blood. I told you they're too smart. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Could I please have one of those baguettes? To feed the ducks? Uh, yes, uh, of course. They're here now. Sure. Take one, then. Yeah, ducks. Right. Yeah, it's a tall, Have a nice day. duck Thanks. that complains about you. the world and reality rather than accepting the fact that he has some part to play in his own choices and actions. You guys steal some milk, too? A little soggy, but I think that's an improvement over rock hard. Well, we could always try making French toast. I mean, you need to make custard for that. And he's not good enough for custard. <coughs> I was just choking it because I think he's not going to I've got the perfect one. meal for you. It may not be a five-course dinner, but it's reasonably healthy, and it will fill your stomach. Yes, that actually looks quite appetizing. And it's easy on the few <coughs> teeth I have left. Thank you so much. Your heart's in the right place. It was nothing. Your teeth he Glad has left. Oh. There's just <laughs> so much to take in with that. Okay. Now that you've got something to eat. Of course, that old man was also able to drop alcohol? a puke down a hole, though. Try it. I'll just take and that bottle puke. with me. Puke? Just talk to the zookeeper yeah. tomorrow. Is that what it was? He's bound to have something left over for you. Usually the welfare of animals is more puke. important. Puke. Puke. People aren't that much of a priority. But I'll give it a try. I'll be leaving then. So what do we need the alcohol for? I don't know, but I know what we can use that nail polish for. We're going to help cheer him up by hiding the scratch with nail polish. Maybe this will help to render the scratch invisible. Oops! Oh, rats, I spilled a little from the bottle. I hope it won't show too much. But it still looks a whole lot better now. We can pick up the candle. So we're taking basically evidence away from a crime scene. <laughs> that we may have committed already anyway. I mean, that's kind of what we do. Hello. You still look... Don't I have... Look at the bright side. Here you are, sitting in this lovely park. Okay, lovely, maybe stretching it a bit, but... Well, just look at the bright side. You sure know how to cheer a guy up. Yes, so I've been told. I've fixed your car. <coughs> you can hardly see the scratch now. Do you enjoy kicking a man when he's already down? Yes, actually, I, I do. What? I really did fix your car. It may not be perfect, but considering what I had to work with, it's not a bad job. Why would you do that? Why would my luck suddenly turn around and... S uh, who knows? Maybe I'm just having a particularly friendly and helpful day. Very likely that. Just do me a favor and stop trampling my feelings. It would have to be a miracle if anything that could happen to me. And miracles don't happen just like that. But I... The poor guy is so despondent that he cannot even imagine why someone would sim- I've heard that fountain over there is a magic wish- Maybe you should give- uh, If you only- It still works- Just for a brief- That negative- That is what my shrink kept telling me for years. She was right. But why is she no longer saying it? Because she is being treated herself now for chronic depression. 
What this guy needs is a serious miracle. Wow. If I go away you now and so promise to come depressing. back soon, will you promise not to you do You and the homeless guy are the two I'm aspects gone? of sure, Jim's negative I personality even traits. I have the energy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so don't mind us. We are just basically seeing a mirror of some of our friends Mr. right Rossi? now. Mr. Rossi? Yes? You don't seem to have much luck. Maybe you should give the wishing well a try. Wishing well? Yeah, right. Nobody believes in that kind of thing these days. You know what they say? Faith moves mountains. Oh, sure. And the early bird catches the worm. I can really do without your words of wisdom. Maybe we should just give it a go. I think this might be a good investment for my five cents. I can always fish them out again. This round is on me. <coughs> You'll never know if you don't try. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! It's a me, a Mario. Well, right. This should be interesting. I just made a wish for that scratch to disappear from your car. If that works, then ah, baloney. Won't you take a look at least? This is a total nonsense. But I was just about to check on the car anyway, so the the scratch <coughs> is almost gone. You see, the wishing well is working after all. But the scratch still shows a little. And there are some weird stains now. What did you expect? I only threw in five cents. Naturally, that only buys you a very small miracle. A larger sum <laughs> might bring on a bigger miracle. You are right. It's worth a try anyway. <laughs> Wait a moment. I will be right back. <laughs> Is he about to throw a 20 in? <laughs> well, have the scratch and the stains disappeared now? Hmm, not really. Typical. That's a ten cents gone down the drain. Ten cents? That wasn't very generous of you. It's as twice as much as you paid. Well, maybe the wishing well feels <laughs> you're playing games. So it's taking its sweet time over that miracle you wanted. Could be. I am going to stay here and wait for the miracle to happen. I will probably just be disappointed again, but it's not like I have anything better to do. Good luck, then. <laughs> So he put ten cents in, is what we got from that. And we can get that from the well, I guess. The fountain, yeah. <laughs> he literally was like, "I put in double, so what that means it should be fixed." Two hundred percent return in a matter <laughs> just, of minutes. Just, Once I'm done saving the world, I'm going to write a book about investment strategies. <laughs> oh, it's just there's just so much there. Seriously, that guy is a. There's so much not to like about him. <coughs> well. I traded in most of my fortune for a piece of gum. Let's hope that was a worthwhile investment. MacGyver could probably uh, combine this MacGyver. with a ballpoint pen to make a nuclear bomb, but all I can do is chew it, I'm afraid. <coughs> MacGyver! MacGyver. Hey, he's one of the few people who basically influenced a lot of these adventure game people. Exactly. Well, our audience will be right back. <laughs>